insanely tender, soft, yes, perfect dinner rolls. First, we make the tongue jump. Half a cup whole milk, half a cup water. Put a cup, bright flour. This method causes the bread to be softer and fluffier. Continue cooking it, making a paste. Let it cool. One cup, warm water, 10 grams, active dry yeast. Two tablespoons, sugar. Let it sit 10 minutes until foamy. Like that. Four and a half cups, bread flour. Two teaspoons, kosher salt. Two tablespoons, sugar. Stir. One egg. One yolk. On low speed, add the egg mixture, yeast, and tang jang. A quarter cup, unsalted butter. Room temp. Knead the dough, low speed, 10 minutes. Dough's gonna be sticky. Like that. Boil a large bowl, thinly coat it. Remove the dough. Transfer to the bowl. Proof until doubled in size, one to one and a half hours. Spritz an extra large baking dish. Punch the dough. Divide, making 18 pieces. Use the countertop to grip it. Forming little bows, little bows. Into the pan, keep it covered. Back to double proof, one hour. Brush your buns with egg wash. Into the oven, 375 degrees, until lightly golden, about 20 minutes. While they're still hot, brush with melted unsalted butter. Mild and salt, because you're fancy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Only candy yam recipe you need. These are the best. Thanksgiving Side Series, episode one. Technically, they're sweet potatoes. Three pounds of jewel sweet potatoes. Back in the day, they called them yams. I don't know, I guess it was a marketing thing. My mother made these my entire life, twice a year, perfectly savory turkey, and then save them for your Easter hand. Cut into half inch slices, like that. Grab an eight quart pot. One pound dark brown sugar. Fish of salt. Half a cup unsalted butter. One cup cold water. Into a rapid bubble. Reduce the heat medium low. Cover, not all the way. You wanna vent it so it doesn't bubble over. Don't walk away. Cook eight to 10 minutes. If you have this, page 103. Remove the lid. Gently rotate them from the bottom up. That way they evenly cook, 15 to 18 minutes. Once they're nice and tender, remove them to a serving dish. Increase the heat medium high until it reduces and thickens. Coating the back of a spoon, that's called nappe. It's French. Look at that. Green bean casserole, an old American classic. We're making it from scratch. 12 inch skillet, medium heat. Six tablespoons unsalted butter. 12 ounces mushrooms. Push your salt. Pepper. One and a half tablespoons fresh thyme. Saute until tender, five to six minutes. Five cloves, minced garlic. Saute until you can smell it, about a minute. Quarter cup, all purpose flour. Coat the mushrooms. Half a cup, Madeira. Glaze happens really quick. Half a cup, chicken stock. One and a half cups, cold milk. Season in layers, kosher salt. Pepper. Bring to a bubble over medium heat, reduce to simmer. Cook out the raw flour flavor about five to seven minutes. Perfectly velvety, no lumps. One and a half pounds blanched green beans. Into the oven, 375 degrees until hot and bubbly, about 25 minutes. Crispy shallots. Don't rip into it now. Be patient. Or garlic cloves, minced. Shallot, three large, sliced. Quarter cup, unsalted butter. Woo! Medium low heat. In, pinch, push your salt. Saute, two to three minutes. Add the garlic. Mm, smells so good. Three tablespoons, all purpose flour. Cook it out, 30 seconds. Quarter cup, Chardonnay. It'll tighten up into a paste. Two and a half cups, whole milk, kosher salt, whisk. Two tablespoons, thyme. Bring it up to a gentle bubble, reduce to a simmer, let it cook out the raw flour flavor. 10 minutes. Don't let it stick. Three russet potatoes, clean them good. Slice them nice and thin, like that. Kosher salt, generously. Blanch the potatoes until par cooked. Two minutes. Remove to a clean kitchen towel. Butter a casserole dish. Coat the slices in the bechamel. Two cups shredded gruyere. Add the cheese, tightly cover it. 375 degrees until tender. 30 minutes. Remove the foil. Increase the heat 425 degrees until browned and bubbly. 20 minutes. Let it set 15 minutes. Fancy mushroom and sage stuffing. Oh, this is moist, baby. Couple day old bread, cut into small dice. Dry it out into the oven 300 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. Work in batches or divide among pans. Heat, medium heat, one stick butter divided. 12 ounces wild mushrooms, because you're fancy. Divide the mushrooms, 
fleeks clean them really well. The ditty. About one and a half cups. Divide the celery. Pinocchio. Divide it. Kosher salt. Pepper. Divide the thyme. Two tablespoons. Saute until tender. Six to eight minutes. So a little dry, add a little avocado oil. Three tablespoons. Divide the sage. Divide the garlic. Saute until you can smell it. About one minute. Cut the heat. Let it cool. Three eggs. Whisk. Add the veg. Make sure they're cool. Seven cups. My homemade chicken stock. Two and a quarter cup. Let it set to absorb all that great flavor. Butter a two quart baking dish. More butter. Relax. It's Thanksgiving. 30 minutes, even up to six hours. Cover, refrigerate it. I've even done it overnight. Into the oven, 350 degrees until golden, hot, and bubbly. 35 to 40 minutes. Make a mac and cheese with a little kick. Three poblanos, one fresno jalapeno. Kosher salt, under the broiler until blackened, all over, eight to 10 minutes. Remove the skin, never rinse it. Remove all the seeds, chop them up. Six tablespoons, unsalted butter. Four garlic cloves, add the garlic. Saute until you can smell it, about a minute. Six tablespoons, all purpose flour. Cook it out until golden, one to two minutes. Add the chilies, slowly stream in three cups cold milk, little at a time. Kosher salt, pepper, Dijon. Bring to a bubble, reduce to a simmer, cook out the raw flour flavor, eight to 10 minutes. One pound Campanelli pasta. Cook eight minutes, grate the cheese, it's creamy. Monterey Jack, cheddar cheese, two and a half cups each. Cut the heat, stir. Fit it with pasta liquid, one cup, one cup Oaxaca. Buttered panko, into the oven, 350 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes. Person, you should be awesome. We're making popovers with a cranberry butter. Never done. Sweep. One and one third cup all purpose flour. Push your salt, about a teaspoon. One and one third cup whole milk. Four eggs. Soak the yolk. Whisk. You want it to be silky smooth. Two tablespoons neutral oil. Batter's gonna be thin, like that. For best success, and you want the maximum height, into the refrigerator to chill and set six hours to overnight. Make sure you cover it. You can use a muffin pan, but for maximum height, use a popover pan. Preheat the pan 375 degrees, 10 minutes. Give it a stir. It always sticks, even when spraying the pan. Add parchment liners. Divide the batter, filling three quarters of the way. 45 to 50 minutes. Don't open the door. Half a cup unsalted butter. Soften. My homemade cranberry sauce. One to two tablespoons. Pinch kosher salt. Like that. Serve them immediately while still warm. Light, airy, eggy, perfect. Why would you buy cranberry sauce in a can when you can make it from scratch? It's easy. Don't be lazy. 12 ounces fresh cranberries from the box. And half a cup sugar. Orange zest. Half a cup freshly squeezed orange juice. One and a quarter teaspoon, sea malt. Half a teaspoon, kosher salt. It brings out the flavor. Medium high heat, bring to a bubble. Stir. Reduce to medium low, eight to 12 minutes. Mash them, but not too much. Keep it rusting. Don't let the sauce stick. Keep stirring. Remove to cool. This incredible egg makes this incredibly moist. This year, I'm updating my classic stuffing with my Cypriot family's love of spanakopita. It's Greek with a twist. Put a cup of unsalted butter. One cup of diced onion. Four to five green onion. Light green slices. Crush your salt. Pepper. Saute until tender, about five minutes. 11 ounces baby spinach. Cover it, let it steam, one to two minutes. Let it cool. Freshly grated nutmeg. Six ounces Greek feta. One third cup dill. Parsley, because you're fancy. Dark green slices of the green onions. Pepper. Seven cups, day old bread teams. Three large eggs. It binds the stuffing and makes it moist. One and a quarter cup chicken stock. More butter. Relax, it's the holiday. Refrigerate it six hours to overnight. 350 degrees until golden, hot, and bubbly. Easy, foolproof, artisan style bread. Three and a half cups all purpose flour. Two teaspoons kosher salt. Half a teaspoon instant dry yeast. Give it a whisk. 
one and three quarter cup warm water. Add the warm water. Stir. If it's still dry like that, it needs a little bit more water, a few splashes at a time. It's more important to achieve the texture versus following the measurements. The measurements are your guide. That's what you want right there. Perfect. Cover it, let it proof five to eight hours, room 10. That's what you want right there. Dust your surface, dust your hands, fold it in on all four sides. Fold it over. Add an empty four or six quart Dutch oven to a 425 degree oven, 30 minutes. Dust with flour, make a slit into the oven 30 minutes. Return to further brown the top 5 to 10 minutes. That's it, baby. The best part of the muffin, the tops. We're making pumpkin whoopie pass. Half a cup unsalted butter. Soften. Three quarter cup packed light brown sugar. Two eggs. My freshly roasted pumpkin puree. Three quarter cup. One teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Mix. Wax paper, parchment paper, one cup all-purpose flour, add to a sifter, half a teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, three-quarter teaspoon cinnamon, freshly grated nutmeg, just eyeball it, half a teaspoon kosher salt. Funnel in the flour on low speed until combined, so you don't make a mess. Two sheet pan, parchment, or silpat. Quarter cup, cook the scoop, six on each tray. 375 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes. Bake one sheet pan at a time. Now we make the filling. Eight ounces softened cream cheese. One and a half cups confectionery sugar. Vanilla extract, just a splash. 